image and a virtual image. So to understand this, let's uh, take the help of a convex lens and let's see there is a bulb, right? So in a ray diagram, in your CBSC ray diagram, you must have seen that we'll draw the ray diagram like this. So if it, as a cert, if it, this uh, bulb is at a certain distance, so this is how the image will be formed. But frankly speaking, what is this image actually? Let's forget about what a real and virtual image is. Let's concentrate how an image is formed. Actually what is happening is, let's say this is a light bulb. So light is being emitted in all the possible directions. Right? In all the possible directions. So that doesn't mean that here no image is formed. Here no image is formed. Image is only formed here. This is actually a misconception. Actually images are formed all the points, at all the points wherever there is light. But the difference is the intensity of image at this particular point will not be as much higher as the intensity of image will be formed on this particular point. Let's take an example of simple water pipe and if a water is flowing from here and there is another water pipe, water is flowing here, like here and here. So suppose you are standing, so what are the chances you get wet maximum? So you won't get wet maximum here, not here, not here. The maximum chances are here where all the waters are meeting. So this is what we say, in reality you are getting wet. Here you can get virtually or something. So let's see, here the points are actually meeting, the rays are actually meeting and they are meeting, let's say about 100% of rays are emitting from this light source and 30% are meeting here. So that is why we say, this is a real image because after this point, this is the second brightest source of light in this particular case. So this brightest source of light uh, makes us believe this is exactly like this uh, bulb. So this may hide the, the bulb of this particular space. So we say this is the image of the bulb. So now coming to the virtual thing. In virtual what happens is when the rays are coming like this, they diverge away. They are not actually meeting. So ideally there is no point in the virtual image like in a concave lens where the rays are actually meeting. Hence we say, had it been met at this particular point, we could have gotten into a particular thing that, that was believed to be something that this initial source of light is. So that's why we say this is a virtual image, means it does not exist in real life. So we'll prove this practically with the help of a ray diagram and uh, we'll assume these uh, laser lights as a particular rays. So let's see. So you can see the path of these rays and let's focus on the point where the, these rays are touching the bottom of the glass. You can see bright red spots, right? So now I, uh, I'll try to meet these two things, meet these two rays and let's see. If you look carefully, the intensity of the, uh, intensity of the point increases very rapidly. So the reason intensity of the light increases is because there, there was two rays initially and now I am mixing them. It's like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. I am adding these two things. Like this. So this is the example of a convex lens. On the contrary, if I take a concave lens or a convex mirror, these rays will diverge away like you can see. They are not meeting at a point, they are actually diverging away. They are escaping far. So this is actually what is the uh, how the rays will uh, are there. So it is actually wrong to say whether it's a real image or a virtual image. Let's just say when the rays of light meet, they'll uh, make something where the intensity of light increases, and hence we can see that image. So this was all about real and virtual image. Hope you got a real understanding. So. It's the same thing before we end the session. It's like when there is a mirror and you are standing here, right? So actually how the mirrors work is suppose a ray of light are coming like this. It reflects back and you can see your image here. Exactly if this is X, this is also X. But the question can be, but the question can be how are these rays actually you are able to see these rays? Actually the reason is, these are no doubt parallel rays, so that means they won't intersect at all. But our eyes consist, the retina, the eyes lens is a convex lens. So these parallel rays that are coming from mirror 
two our eyes are actually converging at a point. So here the intensity of light increases as we have cleared uh, earlier. So intensity of light increases. So this is the screen where what we say the retina in our eyes. So this particular and it makes a backward image of the object and our eyes process it and makes it to a, uh, this upright image. So this was all about real and virtual image. Hope you got a little, uh, some understanding. So thank you.